हेलो एवरीबडी आई एम सेवन फ्रॉम इंस्पायरिंग माइंड्स एंड एजुकेटर है सो टुडे वील डिस्कस अबाउट द नेक्रॉसिस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी टेल यू वाई शुड बी स्टडी इट एंड वॉट्स द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दिस टॉपिक नेक्रॉसिस इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ सेल डेथ यू नो फॉर्म ऑफ सेल डेथ एंड वंस द सेल आर नेक्रॉस्ड दे आर ऑफ नो यूज दे आर डेड फॉर एग्जाम्पल माओकार्डियम नेक्रॉसिस आफ्टर यू नो स्कीमिया hemocardium is dead and that will result into death of a person if you have gangrene that is type of necrosis in your limbs then uh, only thing that you can do is the cut off that limb because the cells of that area are necrosed and they are dead they are of no use so let us study when the necrosis occurs and what is necrosis basically yeah so here is a some cell and uh, the cell is exposed to a lethal irreversible injury i have already told you in my previous videos lethal irreversible injury cell cannot be normal so the cell fails to adapt there is no adaptation because the injury was so intense so immense injury that cell didn't get any chance to adapt and this lethal injury is followed by a series of morphological changes some morphological changes step by step occurs in this cell not immediately all of the changes will appear but step by step so because they are occurring step by step these changes that occur in the cell they usually take 4 to 12 hours to develop you know after the injury has happened let me give you an example uh, a sudden myocardium ischemia because of the clot occurred in a patient you know the membranes of the cell of the myocardium it will become porous and the cardiac specific enzymes can be detected in the blood within uh, 30 to uh, 30 minutes to 1 hour but the histological changes to label that myocardium cell necrosed it will take some time the histological changes will, will only appear after 4 to 12 hours so you should know that this series of changes have steps and these steps take time to you know be in full thing and then we have uh sequences okay like how is the necrosis taking place and what is the sequence what is happening with the cell so let me tell you that necrosis is the process it has denaturation of structural and functional intracellular proteins what do you mean by structural and the functional intracellular proteins we know that the cell most of the structure if you see there are various enzymes working in the cell and you know various structures in the cell most of them have the protein as its content so denaturation of those components are occurring whether it is functional enzyme that are present in the cell whether it is the structural proteins that are there in the cell so why the denaturation has occurred for that i'll recommend you to uh, you know see my previous video on molecular mechanism of cell injury i have told that for example ischemia to a tissue has occurred it has it has resulted into decrease atp that has resulted into you know the lactic acid formation because of failure of oxidative phosphorylation process lactic acid that is formed it changes the ph of cell to let acidic and that acidic ph that is there that can be attributed uh, for the you know, functional and the structural denaturation we know that the protein are there there are folded structures if you you know put acid in some protein they will denature the coils of the protein you know the uh, the proteins are coiled structures so they will open up so that is called as denaturation so this is what is happening in the necrosis okay and this denaturation has occurred so obviously you will able to see the morphology that is produced due to this denaturation so the morphology that is because mainly of the dena because of the denaturation you can see that morphology of the necros tissue under the microscope okay and the other thing that happens in the you know molecular mechanism of cell injury i have told this enzymatic digestion various enzymes are leaked you know they are activated for example phospholipases are activated endonucleases are activated and uh, lysosomal enzymes they also leak out in the cell so these all enzymes that are destructive to the cell these enzymes 
you know digest the cell mainly which enzyme digest the cell the cells have lysosome okay the membranes of the lysosomes they are destroyed okay and because of the destruction of the lysosomal membrane the enzymes the lysosomal enzyme leak out in the cytoplasm and that uh, you know the very dangerous enzymes present in the lysosome they digest the cell and the other important thing that is there with the necrost necrost tissue is inability to maintain the membrane permeability why inability to maintain membrane permeability because no ATP you know the pumps are not working that are ATP dependent on top of that the phospholipases are there that are destroying the membrane so membrane cannot be uh, integrated in the necros cell so membrane is mostly destroyed and destruction of the membrane of a cell you know membrane is destroyed what will result into the contents of cell it will leak out unlike apoptosis in which this process that is cellular content leaking out does not occur and in the necrosis the content leaks out and this content that has leaked out they are chemotactic factors means they attract neutrophils macrophages and other inflammatory cells from the circulation and these neutrophils macrophages that comes they are what we say inflammatory cells and they produce inflammation so wherever the necrosis is occurring it is you know uh, causing the inflammation of that tissue so inflammation means there will be destruction of the necros cell yeah there will be a phagocytosis of the necros cell so all these histological features can be seen then i have told you that necrotic cell is eaten up by what the macrophages, the neutrophils, all these phagocytes, they eat up the necrotic cells because the necrotic cells are tasty for them. So they eat up, they want to eat up. Yeah. And uh, after eating them, they are again digested in the phagosomes that are present in the phagocytes. Okay. Then we have the morphology. These are the sequences I have told you that denaturation occurring finally the inflammation will occur and the cellular content will leak out. This is the sequence of the necrosis. Now let us see the morphology. Morphology means what can you see in the cell that is that has undergone necrosis. First of all glassy homogeneous appearance of cytoplasm. Why? In the cytoplasm is full of what we say eosinophilia. Eosinophilia means the cytoplasm we have have various uh, structural proteins here, and when because of the lactic acid and the reduced pH, the proteins are denatured. Yeah, and when you stain those proteins with eosin, they will be highly stained. Yeah, the denatured protein you should know if you stain the denatured protein, they will produce very bright pink colors. And the proteins that are not denatured, the pink color will be produced, but that won't be of that much intensity. Yeah, so the denatured proteins produce very eosinophilic color in the cytoplasm, and we know. Again, you watch in that video that the, that the glycogen granules, whenever the cell injury has occurred, the glycogen granules that are present in the cytoplasm, they get depleted. And because of the depletion of the glycogen granules, when you stain the cytoplasm with the eosin, the cytoplasm appear glassy. Glassy means clear, pink, like you can, uh, you know, see a pink glass, pink colored glass, and it is so homogeneous, so bright looking. So this is what happens. Okay. Then other thing is that happens is that, you know, the membrane of the cell, they are destroyed. And when these membranes are destroyed, they world like this. they get you know like this world up and these membranes are now called as myelin figures so presence of the myelin figures is an indicator of irreversible cell injury and the necrosis okay and these myelin figures are made up of what phospholipids because they are you know cut up and destroyed part of the phospholipid membranes so these myelin figures are degraded phospholipids and the example you should remember is that in the case of tuberculosis these myelin figures you know attract calcium ions from the extracellular circ circulation in the blood and all and these myelin figure get calcified so in tuberculosis you can see the area of calcifications in the lung necrosed area of calcification in the lungs then the cytoplasm we know have what 
the cytoplasm it have various organelles and because of the denaturation various organelles are also denatured they are not there and when you remove an organelle from the cytoplasm for example here there was an organelle and i remove it means it was denatured so it will appear as a what we say a cavity like this this cavity that has appeared due to uh, the you know denaturation of the various organelles give uh, appearance to the cytoplasm that is called as the moth eaten appearance moth eaten means like a moth you know insect that has eaten the cytoplasm so this cavity is there in the cytoplasm so these all events that has occurred this is what we call the cytoplasmic changes okay and now i am going to tell you about the nucleus changes what has happened to the nucleus so nucleus also what we say it degenerates by three processes okay mainly these processes are but various processes these processes are first of all first of all karyolysis karyolysis means there is a nucleus yeah and it becomes faded 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 you know small and faded 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 and it disappears so this has occurred this process is called as nucleus fading or the karyolysis it means that the dna because of the denaturation you have lost the dna you are you know slowly and progressively you are losing the dna that is present inside the nucleus and because of that the nucleus slowly 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 disappears the second nuclear event that that is there in the necrosis is called as pycnosis pycnosis means there is a this was the nucleus yeah like you can imagine a ball and you just compress that ball and it gets shrunken so the nucleus get shrunken and when you stain the shrunken nucleus it appears very much blue because all the dna that was there it has come you know together inside the nucleus and when you know dna comes together and you stain it so it appears highly basophilic so high basophilia can be seen in the process of pycnosis or the nucleus shrinkage karyorexis means the nucleus get broken down into various fragments and these fragments further break down and like this the nucleus get disappeared so let us summarize what is necrosis sequence of morphological event that takes little time to develop it is marked by two main things that denaturation of structural and the functional intracellular proteins that results into what enzyme leakage outside the cell and the cellular content leaks outside the cell it elicits inflammation inflammatory response accumulation of intra you know inflammatory cells and eating of the necrosis necrosis tissue by the inflammatory cell this may be you know further uh, uh, succeeded succeeded by the fibroblast activation and the healing of the necrosis area we will discuss it later also then morphological changes that are worth remembering is increase eosinophilia glossy homogeneous appearance of the cytoplasm myelin figures myelin figures may also be calcified in the case of tuberculosis and the moth eaten appearance of the cytoplasm then the nuclear changes that occur are mainly of three types karyolysis it means nucleus fading pycnosis means nucleus shrinkage and the karyorexis means the fragmentation of the nucleus so this is what you should know and uh, they will help you to solve any questions that are related to the necrosis so Thank you for watching the video. We'll discuss the questions uh, soon. So uh, keep like, liking and subscribe the videos to watch more. Thank you. Have a nice day.